Hey there friends, it is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back today to talk to you about a lesson we did the other day. I showed you how to create a sweet little fidget spinner in Tinkercad. The beauty of these is that they print in place and they're extremely customizable. You can see here that they are also shrinkable. We scaled it down so that it prints even faster, yet it still spins even though it prints all at once. There are a couple things I'd like to show you to make the process a little smoother or a little more epic. So my friends, let's get cracking. The first thing I'd like to mention is that when you export it, you need to make sure you only pick the one piece. See how I bring that in and it is that exact one and it's also got the cool customization of the heart. Watch this, there are other students where if I add their projects, like I'll add the second one down, it had both pieces selected when they chose export. That's easy to fix if you go back into Tinkercad. You simply have to make sure that you only select the one you want to export and then choose the export STL so it only had the selected shapes. And then as I showed you earlier, we put them in our STL folder. I'm not going to export that one because I already have. And then the other thing I want to explain is that I really don't want you to print this one. The project was built on you making yours more custom and more awesome. Remember, you can grab your first project and you can simply duplicate it and then you can move the new ones away so that you can create a better one. Notice I do not connect the two parts because I want to make it more awesome. And let me just show you one crazy easy way to make this more epic. If you go down to say the torus or any other shape that is round, I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to make it a little bit larger. I'm going to make it a hole. I'm going to bring it over to my shape. Once again, I'm going to look at it from those corners and select the two and I'm going to align it center and I want to see that other side so I can see it's center button right there. See how that's going to subtract some of my shape. I'm going to make it a little larger and I'm going to use a sweet trick called alt shift where when I stretch it, it goes around the shape. So there it wasn't going to touch there. It's just going to touch and I'm just finding the spot where I think it's kind of neat. So if you see that gray there, it's only going to touch a little. Now I'm going to do control up five times. And then I'm going to do control D. I want to move all the way to the top. And I'm going to do that by using the work plane. And if I click that piece and hit D, it'll drop it to that height. And then I'm going to do all the way down to the edge. So that way it would be flat. And then to keep it even, I'm going to do control down one, two, three, four, five so that my distance from each end is about the same. I'm going to set the work plane back to zero and I'm going to group this and see what I made. It could be awesome. It could be goofy. I think it's pretty sweet though. Let's do another one really quick. Check out this crazy idea. Take that sphere and stretch it like this. Almost to the 40 we made. So I'm going to go 35. I'm going to make it really skinny, like only three millimeters thick this way. If I turn that into a hole and I stretch it long, right now you can see it is 20. If I stretch it instead to, uh, let's say 40, it creates this strange sliver. All right, friends, so I'm gonna click on that little sliver I just made and do Control D. I moved back so I could see the rotation handle a little and I'm gonna rotate it 45 degrees. And then if I don't touch anything else, I can do Control D and it makes a copy of that shape in every direction. Now if I select all those parts and I do a line, I can do center. I'm going to scroll out so I can see it better and do center. Then I'm going to scroll in and watch this. I'm going to click on my main shape and rotate it 22 and a half degrees. So that way it's in the middle of those little holes. And now when I group this shape, it is insanely cool. And those are the techniques I want you to use. Find out what does work, what doesn't work, create amazing designs, export them, and give me a chance to print them. Just make sure you always give them a different name. I'm going to drag these parts together to wrap this one up and actually create it. Give myself a center center, pop, pop. And let's see what this fidget spinner looks like when finished. Export, only selected STL, Make sure I choose that STL folder. And then when you do this, make sure you always give them a new name so we can tell which is which. So this is going to be my V2 fidget spinner. 
friends thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the video hope you have fun making your spinners if you did enjoy it please give it a like if you got a question comment or suggestion add it down below if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me hl mod tech thanks for watching have a great day